Hi everyone, this is Ben Davidson and this is Dr. August Dunning. Hi, for those who remember me, hello. For those who don't, uh, I have a long history, 20, 25 years in aerospace, space station design, rocketry and propulsion at major Air Force bases and Navy Air Force bases, um, and brought it into where we are now, understanding what we're really up against. We've been talking a lot about grand minimum, and of course that is expected to be happening on the sun here this century. But we have also been reading a lot of articles out of professors from the University of Colorado and the Japanese Astronomical Society uh, describing another potential difficulty on the sun. And uh, it's something that goes a little bit in the opposite direction of grand minimum, wouldn't you say? Well, sir, you know, people need to remember even during grand minimum, there's still lots of sunspots. You know, solar flares can happen regardless of your overall cycle strength. Even in the Maunder period, there were a number of sunspots and there are auroral records that were important enough to be written down by some of the people even during the Maunder period. So yeah. it's just that it's far fewer sunspots, but they still have to get out the magnetic energy of the sun. And we have seen that the sun has been producing in terms of its polar magnetic strength, which is a really good indicator of how the sun is going to be producing sunspots and those solar flares. Regardless of how we look at it, the sun is in the trough of the sunspot minimum right now. But what comes next is going to be sunspot maximum. And even if we were to fall into a grand cycle minimum, it doesn't mean sunspots go away. And nobody is predicting a Maunder type minimum. At, at lowest, it would be a, a Dalton type minimum. And we do know that there were significant solar flares during that period. Uh, but this could even be any other kind of step down, and um, this weak period on the sun mm -hmm. is about to come to an end. You know, whether we have a long minimum, uh, waiting for a couple of years, or it starts to return this year, it's time we start gearing up for this because we're about to enter a very active solar phase and a very weakened field strength. Whether it is uh, in 2021 or whether it's a little bit later this year, uh, cycle 25 is upon us and Sunspot Maximum is about to return. Get ready. What would be your biggest fear in a major solar outburst? Uh, the strength of the magnetic field on Earth, of course. I mean, when you think about it, that's the only thing that protects you from all that stuff coming off the sun. I believe the thought of being without electricity, and there's no food at the store, there's no gas at the pump, there's no water coming through the pipes, that's there's the no reality. police to call, no heat, no air conditioning, mm -hmm. and no idea when it's going to end. Well, you know, the way these things happen, depending on the strength, it all has to do with how much of the Earth is affected as it turns into this onslaught. Um, it could be a character event, though, where you could just start seeing satellites just, just turn off in orbit, uh, huge power systems be interrupted for months. It could be a real mess. Transformers just exploding yeah. out of nowhere all yeah. across the world. Yeah. Transportation systems, communication systems yeah. failing. And the good news is we should all be preparing because of Earth's weakening magnetic field yes. and because of the coming grand solar minimum this century anyway. Yes. Yes. Uh, just for those who have maybe just picked up this interest in space yeah. weather recently, mm -hmm. you know, they might not have been around for any of the solar flares, even the one in 2017 that was great. So they might not really understand as much about just how dangerous the sun is to our entire way of life. Yeah, look, back in the 80s when the, when the uh, Russians sent their Phobos probe off to Mars, it was the first spacecraft to be destroyed by a solar flare that left the sun. Huge sunspots, huge solar flares, some of the biggest we've seen in a long time, and knocked their satellites right out. Fortunately, all they did was take down the electrical grid over Canada, and you can see the auroras all the way to Cuba. This past sunspot maximum, we saw relatively normal solar flares and coronal mass ejections, yeah. producing a little bit more in terms of the technological effects than we might expect. And you and I were both of the opinion that it's because of Earth's weakening magnetic field. We're, we're losing our protection against these, and that's not stopping. Yeah. That's going to be to an even greater degree this upcoming cycle. Well, and over that same time, Mars got slammed by things that would have turned this planet off. I mean, we were just lucky. We have certainly seen a number of flares in the last couple yeah. of years hit Mars that would have thrown us back. So, you would have killed um, every astronaut on the planet. Yeah. Um, That's the funny part. Right. Suppose we can't get lucky forever.